Hi there guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is an original piece of music that I made. I'm, I guess you could call it classical, but it's kind of an avant-garde feel. Uh, this is my first foray into graphical notation. So I just wanted to kind of explain the sheet music. I'm not sure if you saw it in the video, it's a little weird looking. But I call this a chord tree. And what that means is, instead of having a set chord progression, you get to choose your chord progression as you're playing. And the way that I played it, I didn't really have any plans going with the chord progression. I just kind of winged it as I went along. I mean, of course, there were some motifs that I learned and that I've just practiced with over and over again as I was writing it that I used. Other than that, it was completely improvised. So just to explain how this works, you have your D major seven here, that's your starting chord. Then you have three choices as to what your next chord in the progression can be. And keep in mind, since this is in free meter, these measures are not a specific length or a specific amount of time. You get to just have them as long as you want. But since these three here have more expansions here, but this one has a repeat sign, that means that when you're playing that G major seven with a, or G minor with the major seven, you can only play that and then go back to the D. There's no, you know, extension to that after there. So what you can do, of course, is do this, then your F sharp minor, and then go back into the D major seven, and then to the G minor seven with a or minor with a major seven. And then after all that, you can go back to the D major seven again. But as you go through this, uh, the only kind of direction I give on um, the scale that you use uh, is the Das Gai Chahar Ga, which is a uh, classical music system in Persia, in Iran. And this is very, very old classical music. But in this case, the original scale is written with what are called coron notes which are basically half flat or quarter flat and what that means is that you can't really play this in terms of its true value on a piano like this unless you detune it which i didn't want to do so i just wrote in right here an equal temperament variation that i played it with and that's just a flat uh b a flat e an f sharp and a c sharp really what it means is you're going to be playing uh in terms of your scale you're going to be playing half step major third or minor third half step a uh, whole step minor uh, half step minor third and then a half step and that can encompass your entire piece every single chord works with that scale there's no accidentals except for the a7 which builds that kind of tension at the end that you hear where you hear the this this e natural here is outside of the scale or the system and so when you go back into that d at the very end of the piece on that fermata you have this you have this really interesting kind of um, tension release that's not really heard in a lot of, you know, Western classical music. So when I wrote this, I intentionally made that the only chord that doesn't have a chord value in it, you know, that's kind of outside of the scale. But other than that, this piece was written mainly as a way to kind of test my ability to use graphical notation to write out an improvised piece that also has a really tight framework that you can work within. And yeah, I'll put this up in the description below if any of you guys want to download it and you guys want to play it and send it to me if you do. I'll shout you out on Twitter. If you have any questions about how to play it or you want, you know, maybe some lessons or anything like that, just let me know. I can very easily, you know, send you some videos, send you some messages. Other than that, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.